Alright, so I just got back from watching The Purge, and as you can tell, I'm taping this video, so it's probably not that scary. And it really wasn't. It was an awesome idea in theory. I really enjoyed the idea. A kid in my lawn literature class actually showed us the trailer during one of his presentations, and the idea of anarchy for 12 hours really intrigued me. The only problem I have with it is you're looking at this one family and what happens to them during the purge. So I don't think that it's wholly effective because if you're going to talk about this huge societal thing, I feel like you should show a lot and make it more or less like a character study of different people and everyone's interactions in the night, not what happens in this one very closed, gated community. That being said, Ethan Hawke had a very solid performance. I did enjoy him in this. I don't think he's ever had a crappy role. Um, definitely if someone in a couple war movies, he was really good. Notably, I believe he was in Black Hawk Down. And solid in that. Very solid in the Before Sunrise, Before Sunset, and Before whatever the new one is. I love those movies, love him in that. And this was no exception. He does have a solid performance as a patriarch. The acting was good from everybody. I just feel like it wasn't, it was such a large idea and then you use such a small set. It's not even like a respective microcosm of a society. It's some little gated community. It does show some ideas of like wealth and how that would work in a situation like The Purge, but it's not effective because you're just not seeing numbers. Um, violence, it wasn't, it wasn't to me a rated R movie either. It was very amateur, very kind of PG-13. Um, coming off of Ethan Hawke being in Sinister, which I have not seen but I've heard it's a solid movie, I was expecting it to be really good. And considering that the theater was sold out, I was also thinking, you know, this movie is well marketed and it was a brilliant idea. I think possibly the wrong director was at the, at the helm. Um, a different director might have greatly changed my opinion of the movie or what happened in it, how it was filmed, and that could have made a huge difference. I'm not saying that this guy was terribly bad, but... Mike Hanaki might have been a very, very solid director for this specific work. Another thing in The Purge that I didn't like was there wasn't really a history about how this happened and how we got like these new founding fathers and the law, which I think that delving into that and why it, why The Purge occurs and what's so meaningful to it for our society, why it would be needed, and why this all would happen by 2022, especially when a lot of us say that our country isn't that bad yet. That would have been also cool to see. Um, so pretty much, you know, I felt like it was such a huge idea to develop and then such a small subset of society or a, such a small subset of what would happen to effectively make a movie about this modern or like futuristic idea. So effective acting effective i guess nothing else another thing was there's a really long boring dragging on part where it's like the people walking through the house with no lights on looking for a guy um it wasn't really even like jumpy no part really made me jump and that's what i went for i thought it was gonna be a jumpy movie that's kind of like the horror movies that i'm interested in for like going to the theater and seeing it because you want to jump you want your popcorn to fly all over so you know i didn't have that jumpiness either and i also didn't have a very coherent kind of why is this so important you know just delving into the history a little bit more delving into seeing all of society in a different kind of light and seeing more people than those in this gated community would have really helped the movie I wish that it could be done again, but I feel like now that it's flopped, no one's going to make a remake for like 25 years, and then it's going to be, you know, pretty much the same movie, but a more fluid direction. So, by failing with this movie, you know, the idea is dead. On a, diff on a brighter note, I did see some trailers I am interested in. The whole theatrical trailer for World War Z has me really excited as does the new trailer for Percy, for Percy Jackson. 
that is one of those completely cheesy franchises that in 20 years I'm going to regret ever liking. But for right now, it's flipping cool. Percy Jackson is really awesome. So thanks for tuning in for this. And I have officially had two videos in one day and I don't even have a strong following yet. So I think I might have to lay off for a while. But I did get an idea for a movie or blog on Monday about me complaining about Johnny Depp and Tim Burton and the symbiotic relationship that they just don't have anymore. So thanks and peace out.